3. Atomic Spectrum How colour tells us about atoms. Atomic Spectrum Here is something you're all familiar with. Shining a beam of white light through a triangular glass prism and the seven colours of light will be dispersed about that. If the light is not white, for example by hitting a gas or by passing electricity through the gas, we can get the gas to give off colours of light. And passing this light through a prism like this will show up all the different colours of light given off by the gas. Atomic spectrum. Each element gives off its own characteristic colours. And this can be used to identify the atom. How we know what stars are made of. What elements. These are called line spectra. Each one is a spectrum. And plural spectra. Unique to each element. These are emission spectra. In other words, the colours given off by each element. The light is emitted or given off. Line emission spectrum. Here it shows that some energy is given to some atoms at ground energy state and these atoms are raised to a higher energy state called excited state. Later on these atoms will lose all the energy by giving out photons of different sizes, thus the characteristic colours. Electron energy levels. Within an electron there exist discrete electron shells or orbits with specific amounts of energy called energy levels. The energy at infinity is zero and tends negative towards the centre of the atom. The orbit or the shell closest to the nucleus is known as the ground state n equal to 1. Electrons can only gain or lose certain specific amounts of energy. Only certain photons are thus produced. This picture illustrates the absorption and emission of photons of light energy. This photon is absorbed by this atom in raising this electron from its ground level to its higher level. Likewise, this photon of light is absorbed by this same, same atom in raising the, this electron from this level to that level. Sometime later, the same atom will cool down and lose energy. And this electron will drop back to this level by giving off this original photon of light. Likewise, this electron will drop back from this level to level by giving off this photon of light. And so this situation will give absorption spectrum of light and this situation will give emission spectrum of light. This is an atom with nuclear right in the middle and this is a first energy level, second and so on. So you can see that electrons can only exist at these specific energy levels, nothing in between. Now when an electron drops from this level to that level, it will give off a red photon. And so it gives you red light. When this one drops from this level to that level, it will give off a green photon of light, so it's green. And so on. This one gives blue, that one gives violet. So you've got these spectral lines for visible light. So it says here, Energy of photon depends on the difference in energy levels from one level to the next. And the scientist Bohr's calculated energies match the infrared range, visible range, UV lines for the hydrogen atom. Other elements. Each element has a unique bright line emission spectrum that is, atomic fingerprint that's unique to the element and this emission spectrum is unique to helium 
However, Bohr's calculations only worked for hydrogen, not for other elements. I suppose other elements are too complicated.